What's up, YouTube? Um, doing the, uh, I, I went to my locals and managed to pick up two of the Warriors Strike uh, structure decks, the new ones that just came out. So I'm going to do a quick deck review. The uh, play mat that you get with it, the um, uh, plastic paper, whatever it is, looks really nice. It's uh, very well designed. Um, even the box art looks pretty awesome, and like they've actually um, tried to foil pieces of it. So yeah, it's actually a really nice box. Um, a lot better than a few of the old structure decks, anyway. So um, I'm going to have a look through uh, the deck and explain a little bit of it, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I've got the rundown of the deck. Uh, the main, the um, big guy, Phoenix Gifried, he's a Gemini, um, he's the main warrior in the deck, so yeah, good card. Uh, Evocator Chevalier, or whatever his name. The, the interesting thing is you get three uh, hollows in this deck, you get um, two two super rares and an ultra rare, so yeah. Featherizer. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link to the actual deck uh, in the description um, for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh wiki link as well, so you'll be able to check all their effects out really easily. Gemini Summoner, two Blazewing Butterflies. Now, the interesting thing about this deck is it's somewhat graveyard-based, um, so just random cards like uh, Card Trooper. <laughs> Guess what? Common! Beautiful. Um, when I saw this on the deck list, I thought, wow, this is cool, so, uh, common card trooper, you'd be able to use that as well, um, Dark Valkyrion, uh, random Gemini, it's a fairy, it's not a, it's not a warrior, I guess I ran out of ideas, a few random, uh, warriors that aren't Gemini, uh, Exalt Force and DD Warrior, Freed the Mattress General, uh, Marauding Captain, Gemini Soldier, Future Samurai, now Spell Striker, I have no idea why this is in here, um, yeah, <laughs> Diddy Warrior Lady, uh, Field Commander Raz, just Warrior Support I guess, uh, and another Future Samurai, uh, moving on to the spells, Rota, uh, another common, another reprint, uh, Hidden Armory, which is actually Arms Hole from the OCG. Uh, yeah, so to be able to search out um, equip cards from your deck. Uh, Silent Doom, just I think it's uh, special summon a normal monster from your graveyard and face up defense. So like because because um, everything revolves around the Gemini's, you can keep on bringing everything back. This is why Card Troop is in it. So like there's a lot of cards that special summon from the graveyard normal monsters. Um, such as this, or Birthright, uh, Swing of Memories, etc. And that's why they're in there. So you just keep uh, special summoning from the grave, and then you can normal summon them, so they have their effects. And uh, another thing that I was trying to point out was the reprints. Uh, common Mind Control. How cool is that? Nightmare Steel Cage. Swing of Memories. Another print of double summon. I, I swear every structure deck we get has a double summon, or at least the 09 starter deck did. Symbols of Duty. Uh, this deck is somewhat equip based as well, though the equips are kind of bad. So like, you've got Symbols of Duty, uh, Urban Key, uh, I have no idea how to say, Dragon the Wage or something. Uh, really, like, this, they're alright, but like, I have no idea why this is in here. Um, let me read it. The equip monster cannot attack. Destroy the equip monster at the end of its sec control of the second turn after this card is activated. At that time, return this card to the owner's hand. So yeah, I, I got no idea why it's in there. Uh, I suppose it's just to get uh, more, more, more um, Gemini's in the grave so that you can use other cards to special summon them. Maybe I don't know. I have no idea. Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade, another equip card. Super Vevis, uh, the OCG has been ha has had this for a while. It's basically the equip card for Gemini that um, I, people have been abusing with Power Tool Dragon to bring out, and then uh, using it on like Giga Plan or something to keep summoning everything really really quickly. Um, so yeah, really good card. Big Bang Shot, standard equip card. Another one that we've all been waiting for as a reprint was Burden of the Mighty as a common. 
Yep, that's common now. Yeah, better get, oh, I, I could not get rid of my set of um, supers or ultras or whatever they are. So, yeah, um, it's common now. Unleash your power! It's a quick play, although I don't know why it's a quick play, but yeah, it just gives the Geminis their effects. <coughs> and another reprint MST. Um, trap lineup's fairly weird. Birthright, just special summon uh, Gemini or a normal monster, I think. Yeah, select a normal monster, special summon attack position. It's basically Call of the Haunted for um, normal monsters. So. Kunai with Chain! Excellent card. This actually is pretty good, and now that it's common as well, it's uh, even better. Reprint Dark Pride! Yeah! Everybody's been waiting out for this. Um, so now that yeah, it's a common in the structure deck, uh, it's yeah easy to get. Sakuratsu! Gemini Trap Hole. Justy Break. It's this thing's like Mirror Force, except when they attack a normal monster. It's like, wow! <laughs> and Soul Resurrection. But yeah, uh, really happy with the deck. It's actually pretty good. Um, a lot of good preprints. The map is actually really nice. And the artwork for the deck box. I mean, look at that. It's shiny. It's like, wow. They've actually taken some care with the deck. And um, the uh, for those who have already got it, the, the um, texture is actually pretty nice as well. So like, they've, they have actually gone out of the way to spice up the look of the deck and everything. So uh, yeah. But um, until next time, guys, um, I'll probably have the deck uh, video for my sneak peek coming up this Saturday. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. And um, until next time, guys, peace out.